hi everyone. Uh, this is the start of my video diary on having a FUE hair transplant and I want to share this because it's been a long journey for me, 10 years of hair loss from when I first started and um, wanting this for a number of years. Hi everyone, it's the night before surgery and I've just been over with Dr. Ball for uh, about an hour and a half and we've done the head shave and I just want to say he spent so much time with me um, just looking at the hair design and the photographs and, and looking at the hair. So it's the morning after surgery and I've just checked out the hotel and I will I walk straight out with no bandages or anything and you know it actually just looks it's like I've just got a shaved head. Uh, it looks really good. I'm so pleased with it. Hi everyone. Uh, it's been a week now since my FUE. Hi everyone, uh, my two week update and uh, a few things to report and it's all looking good. Hi everybody, this is my two and a half month update and things are definitely starting to change. Hi everyone, so this is my four month update and the last six weeks, I've just looked back at the last video I did, it was two and a half months and I, I can't believe the difference. Hi everyone, so this is my six months update. And it's, um, it's a big update, I think, because the last time I spoke, it was at four months. I did, um, I did some pictures at five, but the jump from looking back from four to six months even, um, for me, I can feel even more of a difference. Hi everyone, this is my seven month update and things are looking even better. It just, it just gets better. I mean, it's crazy. Hi everyone, so this is my nine month update and uh, it's looking great. A year has passed, it doesn't, you know, you just don't think about it now. I'm actually struggling to recall what happened, you know, right at the start. But it, it was very good. So at, the, at the start, it was, it was just that first week, I'd say. But you've got to be careful, like, because I'm quite conscious and worried about knocking them out. Yeah. Um, but that was all, yeah. Just that Easy time. otherwise. Stuff a week. I was back at work within 10 days, I think. So were you telling people at work? When yeah. You, okay. Did yeah. you actually shave your head? Well, no, I didn't. I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't tell people at work yeah. and um, they didn't notice, you know. They didn't notice that we shaved your head? Didn't notice. They noticed I cut my hair, but right. you know, as far as that goes, that was it. I was really? back at work, yeah. So within a week, it didn't look red or no, everything goes No, no, it's really good. That's cool. In yeah. terms of the healing up top and at the back, did you have any issues back there? No, nothing. I, I, mean, I had a couple of pimples, I'd say, but I just did like the warm towel, yeah. I think you said at the time, and that, that was it. Yeah. How about the sensation? Because sometimes you can feel a bit numb. Numbness, I did have numbness. It went on probably longer than I was expecting, maybe a month or so. Yeah. Uh, well, but that's normal now. It's totally back to normal. And your growth came in when? When do you think you started to see stuff happen? I think it was quite early. Um, and that's why I'm glad I've done the video diary, because yeah. you can look back, because I couldn't say for sure now whether it was probably a month in, maybe, yeah. started to see it. Which would be super early. Because I was looking at it under a little microscope, because I'm a bit like that. It was interesting to watch them you know, come out and then push out with the, the, the head, you know, the old root, I guess it is. Right. Uh, so do you think some of the hair that went in grew from... Some of them the stayed in for quite a while, yeah. Yeah, some of them didn't seem to shed. For and it's been, time. when was it? it now? Just over a year, it's like end of April. So it's been a year. Have, yeah. you, have you seen any changes in the last month or two? Have you no, seen any that's it, yeah. It, 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 I'd say the first six months when it all happened. Yeah. Um, I, I do, looking back at the diaries, it, maybe a little bit into up to the nine months, there was a bit of thickening up, but so you really. been done since nine months? It was really quick, yeah. So that's unusual because some people don't see any growth until six months. Really? Yeah. So you no, I, I, if you look at, go back and look at the diaries, you know, I noticed this very early on. Did we do anything to encourage early growth? Did we give you any vitamins or no. protein shake? No. Did nothing. And you're not doing Propecia? No. You're doing the regain? I'm doing regain. I'm happy as I am, you know, mm. and looking at the last five years, my hair has not changed. And obviously now I'm just focused on the crown as, as to what I can look at. For right. Changing. So what has had, because when we spoke before, we said that there may be another 1,000, 1,500 grass for us to play yeah. with, to, which possibly we could put towards yeah. the crown. Yeah. But that would be, provided we think these sides stay Don't drop, right. yeah. And it's like only a year later, so we haven't really got any more information. No, we haven't got any data in really, the first it's been moved. So what's happening to the side? No. Is that what you're thinking of, the thing you're thinking of? I was going to, today I was going to ask you to have a look, see what you think, yeah. what have I got? Because I feel like the density here, it feels like you haven't touched. Yeah. But obviously to you, you have, and you know what's there. Um, it genuinely doesn't feel like anything's changed. Um, so I'd be happy if you said you can do the same again. I wouldn't mm. feel like there's a big uh, risk in that. So you, 
you get to a tipping point, so you can take 2,000 grass, and I wouldn't expect you to notice. You yeah. can take 1,000 grass, I wouldn't really expect you to notice. But of course, it's a bit like when you're losing hair. When you get to that 50% point of thinning, suddenly it can lose a point. Yeah. Right. And it's not a bad thing if it means thinning the sides a bit to put it back up top, because that's no. what you want it anyway. But... And that's the contrast, because yeah, I had really dense, it felt like dense, because of my hair as well. Yeah. It just looked quite dense here, and then nothing on top. That right. con I'd rather actually do what you just said and thin it out and just spread it over. So you've grown nice and evenly. Uh -huh. And it's got that nice, you know, the important bits about having, just spin you around a second. Yeah. A little bit more, thanks. Okay. Important bits having a chin down. That's it. Um, this, the softness in the front here. So we intentionally put these little scattered hairs, little satellite hairs out front and select the really fine ones to make that grading of fine hair through to slightly coarser hair. So it's not just about having singles in the hairline, it's about grading mm. those singles as well. And it's got to have, like, like you've got little bits of irregularity of you know, slight see-through bits into the hairline so, oh. so that it looks soft and yeah, that's good. like it was meant to be there rather than anything too heavy. Yeah, no, genuinely nobody would be able to tell I've had anything done. Uh, and I'd say that from after the first week, which is... Other than your incredible. blog, have you told many people about it? Or no, you kept uh, it family, everyone in family knows. Yeah. Um, a couple of friends know but actually generally at work I've not mentioned it to anyone uh, and I found it quite entertaining to see whether they noticed <laughs> and with lockdown you know we'll come back after lockdown and suddenly I've got all this hair and people are wondering that's quite a productive way to spend lockdown really isn't it, it producing good, hair good timing really I think So you can just about make out where the hairs have come from, can't you? So you've got the little white dots. Okay, yeah. Um, and there's a ton of hair there still. There is, yeah. You can see the hairs in their groupings. So you've got three hairs, two hair groupings, maybe twos and threes. There's a few singles. Yeah. I, I remember when we first met, I thought there was a slightly higher proportion of single hairs uh -huh. than we might see in some. Yeah. Um, so the white dots, as you can see, are scattered, always leaving hairs oh, in between them yeah. and another white dot. Therefore, yeah. when we go back and take more hair, we're going to have to take it from my next door to a, sure. a white dot, which is, you know, in the grand scheme, it'll be fine, but it means we want to be cautious. We don't want to take yeah. too much of the second. Like there, it's like nothing. <laughs> it's like nothing's been done. Yeah. Hmm. And we take that in the sides generally because it's, it's got a slightly lower starting density, but actually, look at that, there's tons of hair to take there, isn't there? Yeah. Good quality. They're nice and even calibre, so they're good, strong hairs. Yeah. We definitely took hair from this area. It's quite nice to, to, to debulk these sides a little bit to restore to the top. It well, does yeah, I guess there is back. a bit, like we said earlier, jokingly, you, know, you just want to spread out what you've got. Yeah. Um, so just concentrate on that. So it's a bit fine as you go further down, but that's helpful. That's where we'd have got much of the hairline yeah. press from because they're much um, they're finer. A little bit of variation. So you've got some finer hairs within, but I think that's still within normal limits. It certainly doesn't look like you've got. Mm -hmm. miniaturizing in your donut. No. So it's interesting, if we can compare, so this is crown where you've just got yeah. just fluffy hairs. But if, as we go into the margins, the mm. question is how much... How strong are they? Yeah, yeah. How many miniaturizing hairs are we seeing? So that's a miniaturizing border there. Yeah. Because there's just generally lower volume hairs and a slightly mm -hmm. higher well, proportion of single hair completely grouping. I see. And then as we drop down, it does get strong very quickly. Like that. Yeah. From from what's here yeah. as, as as empty crown, you got that border within within a centimetre or two. It does become very strong. That's still miniaturising a bit. But if I drop another centimetre, pretty well predict from like that is. It looks like that's going to stick around. Yeah. Um, and then if we look into these margins up here, it's pretty strong, isn't it? And that looks like the rest of your donor, and that's does, right I up high. So you're up there where it fills, yeah. Which is nice to know, isn't it? I mean, we wouldn't take the last of your donor in another, another sitting. We'd always want to leave something yeah, in store for, for, for these areas if they do drop. And that's nice donor hair. It's a tundra there, isn't it? So these are the grafted hairs now. Yeah. So you can see 
Yeah. Well, it's hard to know what's a graft and what's not. Which it, is it is. Design. Design. Yeah. The grafted hairs are really strong hairs because well, there's, there's nothing here, really, was there in this area? So, so you get obviously a lesser scar where you do the insertion. You should do the extraction because yeah. you're not actually pulling a lump out. Right? It's, a, it's a good point. So, so where the grafts are being placed, there, um, mm. you could shave the top of your head, and you wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think you see a good thing, would you? Yeah. If they're placed badly, then they'll cause pitting. So you'll see little dips at the base of every hair. Okay. Or or yeah. even raised lumps where the hair's gone in. But you, know, you're, I mean, you can see your skin here looks lovely and smooth, doesn't it? Yeah, that's really, really good. But you wouldn't know what's a graph and what's not if you didn't know that um, it's all new. Yeah, that's really good. And then these are all the bigger graphs because they're in the core. We, we try and create more strength in the very core. Yeah. The hairline, as you yeah. can see, we, we pick less much finer hairs yeah. to create the softness in the hairline. Some of these hairs will be the little fluffy native hairs that we already had, but mm. you can see how we grade it. So look at the very front, mm. very fine single hair, slightly thicker single hair, yeah. slightly thicker again, and then as you get behind that, they become two hairs really yeah. And then three low brows as we get further back. I have a feeling for how many, what sort of surface area we've got in the crown, because it's, it's yeah. a decent sponge there. I mean, it's the same area again, really. Yeah. Which, given that we wouldn't put as many hairs in, plus yeah. the fact it's got the the radiating nature to it. You know, we've got to be realistic in terms of density. For sure. sure. Yeah. Anything just to take the contrast away would be nice, wouldn't it? I think. Yeah. I mean, I, like I say, I've not noticed it until I've made the effort to look in the mirror to come see you. Um, I cannot see my crown, no matter how I look in the mirror. It's just, it's just a fact. But um, in fact, you know what it is. It's just when you get when someone takes a photograph on the back of your head or something, then you think, oh, actually, I do have a crown. So if we could get another 1500 out, yeah, then that would be really nice. You know, and I have to keep reminding myself that there's a lot of volume here. You know, this this is well, that this is hair that you want yeah. here, not here. I think that's. And if we take it evenly, from, can't really go wrong from a big that. area, and it subtly reduces the density to put it back where you want it, then hmm. I think that'd be lovely. The other thing is putting hair into the crown. Of course, it's going to some of it's going to be flowing forwards into the mid scalp, and we'll get the knock on. Yeah, because here. obviously, yeah, the bridge I was looking at last night. Yeah, um, I've not really looked at it for months. You, yeah, it looks thin at the back of the bridge because you're only looking at the base of the hairs, aren't you? That's There's right. No layering. Exactly. You just see the the absolute worst of it. Yeah, so so you get that double whammy, you get the double yeah. benefit from hair here, it's thickening here, plus it's going to thicken, mm. thicken the mid scalp. I think it's totally doable. Okay.